Welcome back to limited edition, ladies and gents. I got two special edition Beamers in the store. Let's dive into them. Well, ladies and gentlemen, um, I got a couple of new BMWs here, uh, two M3s, and uh, both of these are um, special editions. Um, they are the edition 50 uh, Yares, which is, uh, commemorates uh, 50 years of uh, uh, M3s and uh, uh, quickly want to just uh, show you the cars. They're 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 pretty cool. Um, uh, some extra uh, features and some uh, cosmetic uh, add-ons and doodads uh, that are available on the uh, M350 uh, Yari editions, and uh, they are offered in five distinct um, vintage colors. Uh, these are kind of throwback to the. Um, original M3s um, and uh, <clears throat> I got two of them in here as you can see uh, this one is Interlagos blue that goes back to uh, the color that was uh, available on I believe E46 and this is fire orange uh, that was available on a uh, E92 I think there was an E92 special edition that was available in this color uh, there's also purple uh, gray red uh, red this like commemorative of the e E30 which was the original uh, M3 and these are uh, these are only cosmetic modifications. They're not really there's no performance add-ons or suspension modifications, etc., etc. So basically, what this is, these are all uh, competition series uh, M3s, um, you know, all-wheel drive uh, with all options as standard. And the only two options that are available on these are the carbon ceramic brakes and uh, racing seats. Uh, neither of these, neither of those cars have those options. Uh, but um, the racing seats are uh, really, really basically like a park bench. So they're, if you're gonna track the car, I recommend them. If you're gonna daily the car, I don't think it's a good option. So uh, Fire Orange, this, this, this one is brand new, brand new, 17 miles. Uh, like I said, it's uh, all the options are standard. There's a lot of carbon fiber, carbon fiber roof, spoiler. Um, you get your special edition um, sill plates right here. You get your uh, fancy little badge right there that says um, one of 500. These are one of uh, 500 for uh, North America and about uh, 300 units in the United States. Um, uh, it's not available in Europe for some reason. It's only for North America. I don't know why, but that's, uh, you know, that's the case. So, um, uh, it's, like I said, they're fully loaded. So this one doesn't have the carbon seats, which are pretty much like I said, park bench, and this one doesn't have the carbon ceramic brakes. Again, really a racetrack feature. But uh, uh, 23s have a um, upgraded infotainment system. You know all this uh, screen and all that. Uh, you know all that stuff that kids like these days. Um, but uh, that's your fire orange. Nothing really uh, in terms of performance. So you get the you know the old school badges. Uh, and this is the uh, Interlagos Blue, um, same thing, carbon fiber. It doesn't have carbon ceramic brakes, doesn't have racing seats, but they're all the same color as far as interior goes. Um, this one actually has the, the rubber mats, which were an add-on. And uh, here's your badge. And oh yeah, they also come with the, with the fancy suitcase. So let's see, let me try to get There we go. It's a power trunk. And you get your 50th edition suitcase so you can roll in style. And uh, somewhat of controversial design to the front end, obviously, with the, with the new BMWs. I have to be honest that uh, when I first saw this design come out, when I first saw it in pictures, um, I was kind of skeptical about it. And I know a lot of people it's kind of a hit or miss, but I, let, let me tell you, um, it looks a lot better in person than it does in pictures for some reason. I don't know why. And uh, it looks a lot m better on a darker colored car versus uh, something that's uh, a little bit lighter where it stands out more. But um, it doesn't really look that bad in person. It kind of grows on you. Uh, I, I know it's controversial. I know that BMW has, they keep making these grills bigger and bigger and bigger, um, but, um, that's, their, that's the direction that they're going uh, with. And um, 
you know, these are pretty small cars. You know, like M3 has actually, you know, grown in size over uh, over the years from their uh, you know, original cars, but they're still they're still pretty small cars. They're still pretty nimble. Um, I haven't really driven them. They're, they're delivery mileage cars. This one has a little bit more miles, um, 800 miles. This one's 17, so I'm, I'm not going to drive them. Um, so I can't really, you know, I can't really tell you how they feel. Uh, well, I, I drove it like from from the from the truck to the to, to the inside the warehouse. So, uh, but I'm, I'm sure there's uh, you know plenty of videos about uh, you know M3s and their performance and all that stuff. But um, both of these are available if anybody is interested. Uh, uh, www.lemotorcars.com or my uh, contact information is there. So if anybody wants uh, one of these uh, one of 500s, uh, let me know. Thanks for watching. Peace.